What's going on with y'all, man? We up early in the damn morning. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go stop by my mom's crib right quick. Mom's in my pop's crib. I ain't even. I was supposed to. I went over there yesterday, but too much damn champagne. But let's get into this shit, man. While the world is spinning out of control over the Anthony Davis trade to the Lakers, um, why should we be giving Rob Palinka so much credit for this trade? <laughs> why? This trade was already done five months ago, man. Now everybody is supposed Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson out here giving Rob Palinka credit. Oh, by the way. If you haven't, go get your merch. Go get your Laker merch. Go get it. Go get your Laker merch, man. Spend that Carcino Cash App money on your Laker merch. That's what we doing. Spend that money on Laker merch, man, if you're a Laker fan. But back to this whole Rob Palinka. What well, Job well done, Rob Palinka. Job well done. Man, this trade was done five months ago, man. It's just that they had the wrong person in position of power with the Pelicans, with Dale Demps, making the decisions. <laughs> and now we're supposed to sit back and give Rob Palenka all the credit in the world. Man, spare me that bullshit. This trade was already done. This was a done deal. <laughs> Rob Palenka had no parts, in, parts to do with this trade. If anybody should be getting credit, it should be uh, Rich Paul. He the one that got this deal done. Anthony Davis is his client. He's signed to Clutch Sports. What was Rob Palenka? How was Rob Palenka <laughs> involved with this trade? How? Well, put it like this. Rob Palenka put together the package, the Lakers package. That's all he did. That's the only thing he did was put together the, 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 the group of Lakers that was that was the only assets they had to trade. Of course we knew Brandon Ingram was gone. Of course we knew Lonzo Ball was going to be shipped up out of there. We knew that. The only thing that we didn't know about, like I told y'all in the video, was Kyle Kuzma. We didn't know that. We didn't know how we didn't know if he was going to stay or not. I was hearing rumors that they really wanted to keep Kyle Kuzma with the Lakers. They didn't want. So that's why I you know, that's why I think they got the fourth pick in the draft. Kyle Kuzma was at the lottery draft. <laughs> he was the one that was there representing the Lakers. So this shit basically made sense. I believe Kyle Kuzma knew Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball and the motherfuckers was going to get traded. I believe he knew. You know, Kyle Kuzma ain't been doing shit but working out. Getting ready for getting ready for this three peat like he should be. I think he was probably the only one that really took the working out serious. Uh, uh, besides Lonzo Ball, well, of course Lonzo Ball was injured, and I don't know, man. Brandon Ingram, man, he just I don't know, man. That dude is just too skinny, man. I don't know how much how much uh, work he put in the in the weight room. It didn't look like he put in no work in the weight room, but Kyle Kuzma has been in the weight room working out. So, Rob Palenka being the uh, recipient of praise over this trade, bullshit. <laughs> I'm not giving Rob Palenka no credit for this trade. I give Magic more credit for this trade than anything. I think Magic just wanted to get it done then at that time. But we already knew Anthony Davis was coming to the Lakers sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? Rich Paul got two of the biggest clients in the NBA right now. LeBron James and uh and uh Anthony Davis. That's another reason why I think Zion Williamson didn't want to sign with Clutch Sports because they had Anthony Davis. So all of the media praising Rob Palinka. Shame on y'all, man. <laughs> I'm giving Rob Palenka credit. <laughs> oh, the NBA is changing so drastically. I got a feeling we're going to start seeing more uh, player agents being put in a position of power in some of these um, 
franchises, NBA teams, um, after they see what uh, oh boy, with the Raptors did, Usai Ujiri, Masai Ujiri did with the Raptors, and now you finna see <laughs> Rob Palinka and the Lakers. So I believe a lot of a, a lot more agents are going to start stepping into these, uh, like none haven't before. You know, some have before, but you know, I think these agents now pretty much understand what it takes to build a championship team. You know, they deal with they they deal with these clients on a day to day basis, so they pretty much know, you know, the inner workings of how the player thinks about about the team that they play for, ownership, the NBA, and some of its unfairness to the players and the agent understands the perspective of the owners and where they coming from as far as dealing with players. So, you know, they got their foot in both worlds, you know what I mean? Dealing with a player, dealing with an ownership, and trying to get deals done. So they pretty much know how that shit operates. So I'm pretty sure we're going to start seeing a lot more agent-type guys that have um, respectable um, clientele that they that they are advising um, that will, you know, put them in positions of power. You know what I'm saying? Rob Palenka had Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, um, um, Carlos Boozer. He got him out of that deal um, and got him more money. Uh, Derek Rose, like he's he's had some pro, he's had some pretty big big time uh, <laughs> names that um, he's represented. So as far as putting a package together to 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 get the deal done, yeah, he has he has all the credit for that. But bringing Anthony Davis over, nah, you're not getting me with that shit. <laughs> you're not finna let me, you know. what I'm saying, give Rob Palinka credit for that shit. Like, 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 man, I've done videos on Rob Palinka, man. I've done videos on Rob Palinka. We already know the fix is in. <laughs> Man, these niggas, these rich niggas and they gated community having asses, man. Jesus. But I'm going to end this video, man. Check out the other videos with Rob Palenka that I've done. Um, so you could get some more insight on his past. Um, things he, you know, the type of type of guy he is. Um, he wear them funny ass suits. One of them soups he had on was kind of sharp. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk too bad about Rob Palenka and the way he dressed. Cause one of them suits he had on, I was like, man, I need to get me one of them, man. He had one of them nice black suits on. I was like, okay, Rob, I see you. But anyway, man, y'all let me know if y'all feel that Rob Palenka was the orchestrator of this monumental Anthony Davis trade to the Lakers. I don't believe he was. I just think he's just the man that's in a position that's getting the most attention behind. Anthony Davis coming over there because he's there. That's my take on the shit. This your man King Howie. Remember to like, subscribe, comment to the page. And um, yeah, man, we out. <laughs>